Hello, young chemists. Uh, today we're going to talk about manometers, which can be used to measure the pressure of a sample of gas. Um, in class, we talked about barometers. A barometer is a device that can be used to measure the atmospheric pressure. And a barometer is uh, it's set up so that you have a glass tube that's filled with mercury, which is a liquid metal at room temperature and the tube is inverted in a dish of mercury and the pressure of the atmosphere on the surface of the mercury can support a column of mercury which is usually measured in millimeters of mercury which is mmhg now a manometer is a device where you have a sample of gas connected to a tube and in the tube there is mercury now we have both open end manometers where one end is open to the atmosphere and closed manometers where one end of the tube is closed. When you have a closed end manometer and you open the valve of the container that has the gas in it, the change in the height of the mercury, delta H, is the pressure of the gas. So just simply in a closed manometer, the pressure of the gas is equal to delta H, which is going to be in millimeters of mercury. Most of the problems we'll do will be using open end manometers, which in an open end manometer, you have a sample of gas uh, is in one container and then you have a glass tube which has some mercury in it and the other end is open to the atmosphere so p atm is pressure of the atmosphere if you were to open the valve to the gas the gas would exert a pressure on this side of the mercury and the atmospheric pressure is exerting a pressure on this side of the mercury if you open the valve and the level of mercury is the same on both sides, that means the pressure of the atmosphere pushing down on this side is equal to the pressure of the gas pushing down on this side. So in this scenario, the pressure of the gas is equal to the pressure of the atmosphere. Now, if you open the valve to the gas and one side on the right goes down and the side on the left goes up, what that's telling you is the pressure of the atmosphere is greater than the pressure of the gas, right? This side on the right is pushing down more than the gas is pushing down on the other side. So in this scenario, the pressure of the atmosphere is greater than the pressure of the gas. And you can see here it says pressure of the gas is less than the pressure of the atmosphere. So the pressure of the gas is going to be the pressure of the atmosphere minus delta H. In contrast, if you were to open the valve and the mercury level goes down on the left side, the side that has the gas sample, and up on the right side, this tells you that the pressure of the gas is greater than the atmospheric pressure, right? It actually overcomes the atmospheric pressure and goes up. So in this case, the pressure of the gas is greater than the pressure of the atmosphere. And if you were calculating it, the pressure of the gas is equal to the pressure of the atmosphere plus delta H. So in these problems, it's really all about just figuring out, based on which side of the mercury goes up or down, is the pressure of the gas larger than the atmospheric pressure or lower than the atmospheric pressure? If it's less than the atmospheric pressure, then the pressure of the gas is just the atmospheric pressure minus delta H. And if it's more than the atmospheric pressure, then the pressure of the gas is just the atmospheric pressure plus delta H. Now, when we're talking about delta H, the change in height, that's in millimeters of mercury. So it's important that all of our units of pressure are going to be in millimeters of mercury. Let's do some example problems. I just got to do a little adjusting here. So we have an example problem. It says, 
A container of gas is connected to a manometer. The mercury level is 65 millimeters lower on the side connected to the gas sample. If the atmospheric pressure is 758 millimeters of mercury, find the pressure of the gas. Uh, that question shouldn't be there. Basically, we're finding the pressure of the gas, so excuse that question mark. So first of all, we need to make sure that all of our pressure units are in MMHG. Uh, and the mercury level here, it's in millimeters, so that's good, and the atmospheric pressure is in millimeters of mercury, so we don't need to do any conversions on that. So step number one, that's just check, we did that, okay? Now, step number two, it says draw a manometer if one isn't provided, okay? So uh, in each case, we're going to have a vessel. The manometer tube is going to go up and over and up, okay, kind of like this. This is going to go up and over. So I always like to sketch a manometer. This is open to the atmosphere. So here, this is the pressure, P-A-T-M, okay? Pressure of the atmosphere. And they tell us that that atmospheric pressure is 758 mmHg. Now, this is the valve, and we have, this is our gas sample. It tells us that the mercury level is 65 milliliters lower on the side connected to the gas sample. So the side connected to the gas sample is going to be lower, and the side open to the atmosphere is going to be higher. So this, quick uh, shading in, this is our mercury. And if we were to go from here to about here, that's our delta H, it's equal to 65 mmHg. Now, if we were to have atmospheric pressure equal the pressure of the gas, the level of the mercury, mercury would be the same on both sides. But when we open this valve, this side goes down and this side goes up. So that tells us that the pressure of the gas is greater than the pressure of the atmosphere. So if we're calculating the pressure of the gas, it's going to be more than the pressure of the atmosphere. It's going to be more than 758. How much more? Well, delta H more, okay? So writing it out sort of in terms of an equation here, pressure of the gas is going to equal the pressure of the atmosphere plus delta H. We plug numbers in, P gas equals 758 mmHg plus 65 mmHg. Pressure of the gas equals, I'll just put this right over here, 758 plus 65, 823 mmHg, okay? And of course, as we anticipated, the pressure of the gas is more than the atmospheric pressure. This is a manometer problem, okay? We'll do a couple, a uh, couple more. Um, I do have just a little summary here for you. You can see this. It says, uh, and this was also at the diagram at the beginning of the video, right? Solve for the unknown. If the pressure of the gas uh, is more than the atmospheric pressure, then P gas is the pressure of the atmosphere plus delta H. And if the pressure of the gas is less than the atmospheric pressure, then the pressure of the gas is P atmosphere minus. Delta H. So let's do a couple, a uh, couple more practice problems here. We'll go a little, uh, little faster. Okay. So this question says: An open manometer is filled with mercury, and the closed end is filled with ammonia gas. So I'm going to start, of course, by drawing my manometer.
tubes a uh, little thick, of course. I just did that pretty quick. Okay, this is our ammonia gas, which is NH3. That's uh, ammonia, just a heads up, NH3 is ammonia gas. Okay. It says that the mercury rises 23.4 millimeters on the side of the manometer attached to the ammonia gas. So that means it's higher on the side with the ammonia gas and it's lower on the side exposed to the atmosphere. This is the pressure of the atmosphere. Okay. Now it tells us that the atmospheric pressure is 716 torr. This is the mercury. Now, when we open the valve, this side goes down and this side goes up. So that tells us that the pressure of the atmosphere is greater than the pressure of the gas. So the pressure of the gas is going to be less than the pressure of the atmosphere. And the amount less is from where this level is here to uh, this side, right, delta H. And delta H is 23.4 millimeters of mercury. So our pressure of gas is going to be less than the atmospheric pressure, and it's going to be this much less than the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so pressure of the gas is going to equal pressure of the atmosphere minus delta H. Now, one thing to notice is that this unit of pressure is torr, and this unit of pressure is mmHg. We need to have agreement of units. Fortunately for us, one torr is equal to 1 mmHg. So those are the same. Okay, so this is the same as mmHg. So the pressure of the gas equals 716 mmHg minus 23.4 mmHg. The pressure of the gas equals 692.6 mmHg. All right. We'll do another one. Um, this one says, an open manometer is filled with mercury. Again, I will sketch the manometer. into the air. This is going down. Atmospheric pressure, PATM, is 100.8 kPa. This sample of gas uh, it says that it's 12.1 millimeters higher on the side open to the atmosphere. So it's going to be higher on this side, lower on this side. This amount, delta H, is 12.1 millimeters. That's mmHg. This is our mercury in here. So the fact that it's lower on the side that has the gas means that the gas has more pressure than the atmosphere does. Okay, so the pressure of the gas is more than the pressure of the atmosphere. And the amount more is delta H. So pressure of the gas, in this case, is going to be the pressure of the atmosphere plus delta H. Now, our pressure of atmosphere is in kPa. That's not mmHg, that's kilopascals. We need to convert that. So a couple of equivalent statements. One atmosphere is equal to 760 mmHg. That was the one that I had some students memorize in class. And one atmosphere is also equal to 101.3 kPa.
if this is true, that means that 760 mmHg is equal to 101.3 kPa. So we can convert this pretty easily. We're going to convert it. We're going to say 100.8 kPa times something over something else. What we're trying to find is mmHg. What we're given is kPa. 760 mmHg is equal to 101.3 kPa. So if we do this, our units of kPa will cancel and we'll get our number of mmHg, 100.8 times 76 divided by 101.3, we get 756 approximately, and that's mmHg. Sorry if that's off the page a little bit. So now that we have our units in mmHg, pressure of the gas equals 756, I'm doing a little rounding here, mmHg plus 12.1 mmHg pressure of the gas equals Seven sixty eight MMHG. Right? This is the general idea with manometer problems. Uh, hopefully, you found this uh, helpful. But again, big big idea here is that the pressure of the gas is equal to the pressure of the atmosphere plus delta H when the pressure of the gas is more than the atmospheric pressure. And pressure of the gas is equal to the pressure of the atmosphere minus delta H when the pressure of the gas is less than the atmospheric pressure. And you know that it's less than the atmospheric pressure when the uh, gas is hot. When the mercury is higher on the gas side, that means that the atmospheric pressure is greater. When the mercury is higher on the atmospheric side, that means that the gas pressure is greater. Okay? So. This has been a little discussion about gas manometers. Keep on working. See you in class.